Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to Lisa Michelle Be On The Scale. Well, I'm late popping this video up. I said, let me go ahead on and do it so I can um, put on my pajamas and stuff. You know, take my bath and unwind and put on my pajamas. Well, I'm late because my cat, the, the sweet one you see me bring on the video a lot of times, the um, darker one, the gray and black one named Star, um, I think he's having some um, issues with his, um, maybe his urinary tract, maybe his bowels or something. He's using the bathroom. I don't know about the bowel movements, though. The bowel movements were fine, looked like. A uh, little loose, but not loose, loose. And I don't know if he's urinating or what, but um, he doesn't want me anywhere by him. And I'm like his all-time favorite person in the whole wide world. And he come walking up to me this morning talking he was loud he doesn't do a whole bunch of talking he's not a talking type cat so he was talking to me real loud then he started hissing at me like basically stay away from me I think he's in some kind of pain so I'll be um, trolleying him off to the um, veterinarian tomorrow about 8.30, so I will keep you all posted. So, uh, I haven't had much of an appetite today. It's probably the Ozempic, because I, when I take my injection on um, Ozempic Injection Day, which is today, Tuesday, um, December 5th, 2023, that's um, what happened. So, literally, I've had, what did I have today? I've had a smoothie this morning for breakfast with um, strawberries in it. I ate two hours late because I was busy doing stuff, running errands, and I had some um, pork from the uh, Hispanic market. They have like a little um, eating area there so you can order food. So, Gigi was ordering fried chicken and, and, and potato wedges for his AV art club so um, I got I can have pork and I can have the verde sauce so I had that Verde sauce a little bit on the edge spice and chive mm -hmm. but I had it it was good so that's literally all I had to eat today and then when I got home I'm still dealing with the cat and what's going on with him and I think he's mad at me because I don't understand what he's trying to tell me and it's hard when you can't communicate with an animal because they don't know that you don't know what they're talking about so therefore I'm not responding to his needs like he thinks I should because I don't know what he needs and he's mad at me and he's hissing at me like basically stay away from me so he's under the bed right now acting I said shoot I might have to sleep with the scarf around my neck and just slit my throat open with them sharp claws so, I don't know. I'm just a little upset, y'all, with that. This, when I tell you he's the sweetest cat that I know, he's the sweetest cat I know. <laughs> and I know some cats. And, oh, my God. Here I, here I go, y'all. So, he's mad at me because I'm not getting what he's trying to tell me. So, I'm just like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to that vet tomorrow and stuff and... Pray for me because I'm going to uh, apply for this uh, scratch pay credit. It's called scratch pay for us, uh, like payment for cats. It's, it's got some type of credit insurance type thingy majiggity. So pray that it goes well for me and that it goes through. I need all the prayers I can get, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to do that when I get off this video talking with you all. Um, Update on Ozempic. I'm going to yawn one more time, y'all. I'm going to give you an update on the Ozempic. It is week 27 for me. And last week I was 160.8. Then the next day I weighed. Again, because I wasn't satisfied with that. I said, uh -uh. Then I went down to 160.4. And this morning I weighed, got on the scale. And I was 160 even. I said, okay, so you down from 0.8 to 
160 so I said okay I can do that <laughs> so I'm 160 even still hanging in a balance in the 160s and I will not complain you know what hey I used to be 243 pounds but guess what that was 17 years ago and six years ago when I was doing the Weight Watchers I was stuck in the 170s for 17 weeks well guess what I'm in stuck in the 160s now in 2023 stuck in the 160s for 18 weeks I'm like my god I don't know but I was talking with this one lady I met real pleasant lady met her at the T-Mobile store she was a customer and um I was telling her about my channel and what have you and chit chat and whatever and she said, how much more weight do you want to lose? You look great like you do. I said, oh, well, thank you. I said, just five pounds. I want to be 155. That's my goal weight. I have a goal set. She said, what I've been thinking, that my body is um, satisfied with the weight that it is. That's why I've been stay in there so long well at least i know i can maintain a weight so if i ever do get to 155 i'll be able to maintain it because i've been maintaining for 18 weeks now in the 160 so i think that's pretty good because i know when i gain five pounds that five pounds shows up y'all it really does mm -mm. so I'm not tired. I got eight hours of sleep last night, but with the high stress day that I've had today with the cat and just out and about with art club and instructing and doing things and running errands and going to the store and just different stuff, I'm, I think I'm tired. So, and like I said, I got to get a scarf wrapped around my neck. You're going to slit my throat tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because he hisses. The cat does not hiss at me. Now, when he's scared or he's at the vet, he'll hiss. Okay? But I think he's in some kind of pain. It has to do with his um, urinary tract. And he's trying to tell me, something's wrong, Mama, and you're not doing anything about it. So he's mad at me and he's hissing at me. And I, I just can't. I don't like it. It makes me feel bad because the cat's mad at me, y'all. Can you imagine you feeling some kind of way because your sweet old cat that's sweet as punch mad at you he not treating brother very well either that's a uh, sky he hissed at him earlier and i said don't you hiss at him and i said we're not going to do that here no no so you stay yourself on up underneath that bed if that's where you're going to be because i know you're in some kind of pain but it's nothing mama can do about it but i'm gonna put his cat carrier out tonight so he can get himself familiar and uh, Gigi going to come up and scoop his up, scoop his behind up and put him up in that cat carrier. Because he ain't going to scratch me alive. He ain't going to scratch me raw. Okay? Hiss or bite me. He got some teeth, honey. Some fang. <sighs> so, no, he's not going to uh, tear me up. But he jumped on the bed when Gigi sat on my bed and jumped on the bed with her and was rolling all around on the bed and playing and acting really sweet like he always does but then when he walked by me kss, oh do you know how bad that makes me feel i do everything for these cats and they're my world and you know you don't like your children or your, you know your real children or fur babies to be in some kind of pain and he's in pain i know he is and it's nothing i can do about it until morning shine so I'm just gonna wait and see what happens but my update and the old zipping, one milligram dosage, y'all. I'm at 160 even now. So we'll see what next week brings. I don't know what it'll bring. And I'm not going to keep worrying about it, y'all, because I've been worried about it. And it's only five more pounds. And guess what? I don't look no different at 160 than I do at 160.8. So I don't look no different. I don't look no different, y'all. So, I'll call you back, Mom. I think you didn't stop my video. No, it's still going. I'll call you back, Mom.
<laughs> she called to check about the cat. So I'm going to get on off of here. And yeah, I still look the same at 160 that I do at 160.8. So this is how I look. Here's my cute fat, my fat pants. The ones I showed you yesterday in the video that have all this extra room in it. I'm sitting in the kitchen, y'all. I wanted a uh, brighter area and a change of pace. So you can see my, um, look, I can't, can't get you to see it. My kitty cat clock back there and the eyes move. Six o'clock. This is the clock I'll be looking at from the uh, other room. <laughs> and a nice um, pot holder that some nice senior woman um, made for me. So, yeah. So I'm in the kitchen, y'all. I really like my setup. So <laughs> I'll go back to the bookcase maybe like in the daytime because it's um, not really good lighting over there in the evening. So kitchen's nice and bright. So here I am in my studio. Anywhere I set up is my studio. So that's where I'm going to be. I love everybody that um, has these just beautiful YouTube pages where um, their background just looks beautifully set up and I don't know I don't have all that going on or nor do I know how to edit hey to edit it to edit um a YouTube video I'll have to maybe try doing the video on my iPad and see if I can find out what to do or go to YouTube University and learn how because shoot everybody else is doing it and got reason nice beginnings and captions and stuff and words floating here and there and all kind of graphics busting in and busting out. I don't have any of that because guess what? I don't know how, but that don't mean that I can't. So I will. When you do see me doing that, no, I have arrived, okay? But until then, you're going to get different areas of my beautiful home. And you're going to talk with me. And this is a nice transparent page. And I'm a real person. So I'll have all them bells and whistles and stuff. But it's okay, y'all. I am the whistle. I can't even whistle. I am the bell. A ding a ding ding ding. So until then, I will see you all later. I'll see you on the flip side. And I'll keep you updated on Mr. Star. S-T-A-R-R. -R. I'll let you know what happens with him. Peace, y'all. <laughs>